I don't know. I'm at a point in my life when I'm trying to figure that out. I'm about to graduate from college and turn 23, and uh, I don't know what I'm going to do next year or the year after that. Um, hopefully figure out who I am and what I want to do. But I've got the whole rest of my life to do that, and this film is due Tuesday. So, I have a lot of things I love to do, like water polo, and sailing, and photography too. And I also enjoy the finer things in life. But do these things that I like to do define me? Are they going to influence what I'm going to do with the rest of my life? What about the people around me? Can they help me define myself? Maybe. I figured I'd see if I could gain some insight into who I am by asking the people I spent the past four years with if they had any idea who I was. So I asked five of my friends five questions. And this is what happened. How did, uh, how did you meet Brian Sager? Were there any funny circumstances? Or did I... Uh, I actually remember pretty well. It was a freshman year during orientation. And I was sitting around with a bunch of random people, making some awkward small talk. And uh, I see this like six foot six, super tan, blonde kid lumbering by in flip flops, board shorts, and a tank top. And I was like, all right. You know, someone, someone that knows what's up. And uh, yeah, introduced myself, and uh, we've been friends pretty much ever since. I think I met him in the dining hall. Probably. And I didn't know either, either of the two roommates. And I got introduced to Sager, and basically every time after that, he ignored me. <laughs> like I didn't exist. <laughs> we talked about uh, our lives and our hopes and expectations for Connecticut College. And we talked a lot about love. Tell me about an adventure we've been on. I have been on many adventures with Sager. We've had a lot of adventures in the psych lab and the rat colony. <laughs> uh, yeah, so anything around the water is always adventurous. Because I can't swim, can't really, don't feel comfortable in the water. I, and uh, he's had to save me. And he kind of taught me how to body surf too, because I hadn't really done it before. And uh, it's, it was incredible. Yeah. Pretty much the starting line on our team at the time. We're uh, hanging out in a motel room. We hear a knock on the door. So everybody obviously paranoid freaks out. And uh, they, uh, everyone kind of like tries to act normal, tries to act normal. And, uh, and it's our coach and he you know, walks in, talks to us for a few minutes. We're all awkward, but you know we think we pulled it off and then coach leaves. And then we're all like laughing about it. Like, oh my God, I can't believe how close that was. And about 10 minutes after our coach leaves, Brian pops his head out of the bathroom and goes, is he gone yet? <laughs> it, was, uh, it was just pretty. We had all forgotten he was even in here because he stayed in the bathroom for so long. Have you and Brian ever had a disagreement about a fight? <clears throat> I don't <laughs> think so. But not like, nothing like... Yeah. No, not really. I can't say we have. Um... Yes, yeah, one today actually. Uh, one time I bit him, and he was not happy about that. I think that was a disagreement that uh, took us several weeks to get over. Uh, where do you think Brian will be in 10 years? What do you think he'll be doing? 10 years, Brian will be living in Mexico City. Probably in the northeast of the United States. Somewhere in California. Brian will probably have a big bushy beard, some long hair. Cruising around the world, taking pictures of crazy stuff. Probably like the Himalaya Mountains or some tropical islands. I don't know, doing his thing. Being a National Geographic photographer of some sort. In an office where he sits at a desk all day, I think. I think uh, Sager will be doing something nice. And he'll be married. I have four illegitimate kids. I'm going to invent the most widely used ADHD drug. <laughs> nice. And he's going to be living in California. In very general terms, who is Brian Sager? <laughs> Big tall white guy. 
Nantucket local, you know, the man with the moustache, loves the water, real friendly. Is a larger, preppier version of Jeff Spicoli. Free, spirited, open-minded goofball. <laughs> Brian Sager is more than, than a man or a, even a concept, really. Uh, the thing about Brian Sager that you need to understand is it's a lifestyle, really, is what, is what Brian Sager is. It's, it's indescribable. It's more than you and I could ever imagine a person to be. I just can't get enough. I just can't get enough.